Welcome and thank you for joining our discussions. We are looking at mold concept, form 3 chemistry, and the question we have reads In a titration experiment, 25 centimeter cubic of a solution of sodium hydroxide containing 8 grams per liter was required for complete neutralization of 0 0.245 grams of a dibasic acid. Calculate the relative molecular mass of the acid. Sodium has a relative atomic mass of 23, oxygen 16, and hydrogen 1. Since we have the two solutions, we can start by writing an equation between sodium hydroxide and the dibasic acid. Since we do not know the acid itself, we can generally represent it as H2X. And therefore, we are going to have a reaction between sodium hydroxide aqueous plus a solution of the dibasic acid. And this one is going to give us a salt of sodium, which is N2, Na2X. It can be aqueous or a solid, plus, of course, water, since the reaction between an acid and a base will always give us salt and water. We can balance the equation by writing two behind sodium hydroxide. Since we know the number of grams per liter, and we can calculate the relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide, we can start by getting the molarity of sodium hydroxide. Remember, to get molarity, molarity of sodium hydroxide we simply take the number of grams in one liter you divide by the relative formula mass we have the grams per liter we can get the relative formula mass of sodium hydroxide by adding the relative atomic masses of all the elements forming sodium hydroxide sodium is 23 plus oxygen is 16, plus hydrogen is 1, giving us 40. In this case, now we can proceed and get molarity. Molarity is given by taking the number of grams per liter. We have 8 divided by 40, and this one gives us 0 0.2 molar. 0 0.2 molar simply represents the number of moles of sodium hydroxide in one liter, which is a thousand centimeter cubic. And therefore, we can say in 1000 centimeter cubic, we have 0 0.2 moles. We need to calculate the number of moles which are contained in the volume that reacted with the dibasic acid. The volume of the base that reacted was 25 centimeter cubic. And 25 centimeter cubic will contain 25 times 0 0.2 divided by 1000. And this one is going to give us 0 0.005 moles. Since we have the number of moles of sodium hydroxide, we can get the number of moles of the dibasic acid using the mole ratio. Moles of H2X would be equal to, remember the mole ratio is 2 to 1, and therefore the number of moles of the dibasic acid would be half of those of uh, the base, which is 0 0.005, giving us 0 0.0025 moles. Once we have the number of moles of the dibasic acid, we can simply get the relative molecular mass, which is the same as the molar mass. We know the relative molecular mass is usually given by taking the mass to divide by what we call moles. The mass that reacted was 0 0.245. We have it here. 0 0.245 divided by the number of moles which is 0 0.0025 
and this one is going to give us exactly 98 as the answer. And for us to move further and identify the diabetic acid, this diabetic acid will be sulfuric 6 acid. Identity. Identity of the diabetic acid will simply be sulfuric 6 acid. And if you sum up all the relative atomic masses of the elements present in sulfuric 6 acid, they will add up to 98. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two. You click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification. Thank you and welcome.